hi, uh, my name is Lutz. Um, thanks for having me. Um, I hope you can see my slides now. Yeah, we can see the slides. All right, cool. OK, so um, yeah, I'm going to talk about how to format strings for logging. Um, uh, just because um, I think so there are different ways to do it, or people uh, like to do it in different ways. And I kind of wanted to uh, spend a little bit of time on that, um, just checking or like wanting to see if there's any um, if there's any better way or so, or what what to what is the the alternatives or the benefits of each. So I just wanted to present it very quickly. So um, just to recap, if you want to format a string in Python, so um, there are different ways to do that. And so by formatting, I basically mean um, adding a variable into a string. So there's this kind of old style percent %s uh, formatting, where you have a placeholder here, and then this percentage sign, and then the variable, um, and then that gets kind of like replaced. Uh, by, so the placeholder gets replaced by the, by the variable. Um, then you also have this uh, string.template class from the standard library, uh, which looks similar, except there's a dollar sign here for the placeholder. <clears throat> then in Python 3, you have these curly braces in the string. Then you can call these um, this format method uh, on the string directly with the variable. And then the last one in Python 3.6 um, are these f strings, which are denoted by an f here in the front. and they look similar to these um, um, curly braces uh, to this kind of um, thing here, but uh, you put the variable directly into the string without calling a method. And all of these basically um, produce uh, the same result. Um, and now if we look at the logging module in particular, um, this has uh, even, uh, again, a kind of slightly different syntax. So you also, so you import the module here, and then if you want to log a message, uh, you also have this percent %s placeholder here, but then you have the variable, the task name, which is applied to the function. So this is a little bit different than the first example here, where you have the string, then the percentage operator, and then the variable. And here you, um, uh, here you pass the variable as a parameter to this logger.info function. And um, now you could do this, you could achieve the same thing by um, with an F string where you basically put the variable directly into uh, the string. And now basically the question is, um, is there any, um, I mean, people like to use F strings for most uh, things um, is my impression, but when it comes to logging, a lot of people in a lot of code bases um, still use this kind of like, um, which I would call old notation. Um, so this upper one here, and then the question is, um, is there anything to this? Um, so is there any reason not to use F strings in this example? And so the reason that people usually give for using this first notation is that, um, so what logging does when you when you use this notation, it is kind of like um, only formats a string if it's really necessary. So maybe, uh, so you can see that in this example, I set the level to logging.warning. So if you call logger.info, so this message will actually not be printed. And so logging, um, the logging module re realizes this and kind of avoids formatting the string because it doesn't need to be formatted because it will not be printed. And on the other hand, if you use F strings here, you can maybe see that this string gets evaluated immediately, even before it is passed to the um, info uh, method. And so the argument is, if you use this first notation, then you save yourself some computation, basically, because you avoid uh, formatting the string. So let's look at this in a little bit more detail. <clears throat> So there's this tweet by Raymond Hettinger, who's a Python developer, um, basically comparing different um, methods to um, format a string. And then, um, so the result is that F strings are the fastest, uh, basically. So, and then, um, so there's this percent %s, uh, so this percent notation a little bit more down. So, and this is, sorry. And this is what uh, the logging module uses internally if it has to format a string. Um, but since F strings are the fastest, there's a kind of a problem here because that means, let's imagine the level is set to logging info instead of warning, and these messages would be printed, then that means the, the bottom one, the F string would actually be faster. Um, yeah, so, and so if the message is printed, this one, this method is generally faster. If the message is not printed, the upper one is generally faster. So there's no clear um, recommendation or like winner in terms of speed. It kind of depends on the logging level. So I did some very basic um, experiments, <clears throat> timing experiments uh, with this. So in this example, the level is actually set to logging.info. And so here I'm doing two calls to logging info, one with this like logging notation here and one with F strings. And then the result is basically that, so here the messages are printed, right? So the result is that F strings are a little bit faster. So around 890 microseconds um, versus the upper one, the logging notation with 990 microseconds. But the difference is kind of small, especially if you look also look at the standard deviation. Um, then I did the same thing here, um, only this time I'm calling logger.debug, so these messages will not be printed. And um, you can see here that uh, in this case, this lazy evaluation uh, kind of way of 
um, this first method uh, kind of pays off because here we have uh, around 218 nanoseconds and then with f strings we have because they are the strings actually formatted and even though it's not printed uh, we are around uh, 400 nanoseconds um, so yeah so in this uh, bottom case um, the dissertation is faster in this uh, upper case where you print a message the f string is faster um, yeah so what can we make of this um, yeah as i said no clear um, winner um, yeah, and uh, so what you can also see is that uh, the absolute number here is a lot lower. So we're here in the nanosecond range instead of the microsecond range. So not printing a string saves a huge amount of time, in, no matter if you format it or not. But so my main point here from this, um, from these examples, is that um, the differences are really, really small. So even in this um, top case where you um, where you print a string, you get at most uh, around maybe nine, uh, sorry, about maybe hundred uh, microseconds uh, benefit from using f strings. And um, so I would say that, yeah, so this is an order of magnitude, which is not really relevant for most, uh, for almost all use cases. So it just, it doesn't matter if your program is, uh, runs 100 microseconds faster or not. So if you disagree with this, if you have a use case where this kind of speed difference actually matters, then I would love to hear about it. Maybe you can write it in the chat or so. But for now, my conclusion is that um, it's, it's too small to be practically relevant, uh, this difference. Okay, so then I want to very quickly talk about um, security um, um, considerations. So there's um, um, there's this. Um, uh, so let's say you have a string you want to format with a method. Um, there are these like um, uh, format specifiers, and here in this case you actually you add some white string uh, white space here to the string uh, to pad it to nine characters. And then the problem is that um, you can um, uh, you can make this number arbitrarily large and um, so in this case you would actually print more than one gigabyte of white space and what happens is that the program freezes for quite a long time and then might it might crash depending on how much how much memory you have available um, so this is with the string format method you can do the same thing with this um, logging notation um, where you basically give the variable name and then add these um, padding um, numbers here to the right um, yeah, so the point here is that if you have a situation where this um, format string comes from an untrusted source, so basically, let's say you have an application and maybe you want to let the user control um, the formatting, so maybe they can supply it in the configuration file, then this could be exploited by specifying a string like this. Um, so here, when you, when the, see, you have to think about security. And now you can uh, you could uh, maybe ask, so what about F strings? Aren't they the same thing here? So in general, yes. But the thing with f strings is that they are evaluate, evaluated immediately, so you cannot have the situation that a user supplies an unformatted f string that you format later on. So that's why I would argue that f strings are kind of safe uh, against this kind of attack uh, because they don't have this capability of being formatted later, basically. So now, if you're wondering, um, so yeah, which one should you use, um, f strings or this uh, like um, percent s notation? Um, so in terms of speed, um, I would say it doesn't matter, um, or almost always, so I'm not 100% sure actually, that's why I put this in brackets here. Um, readability counts, this is from the Zen of Python, um, and in my opinion, that would speak for f-strings. I would, I think they are the most readable of all these string formatting methods that you have available. And um, yeah, as I said, so if you, if the format string comes from kind of like, from some kind of external source, you have to think about um, security uh, issues with this. Um, yeah, that was it. Um, so you can contact me uh, via email um, if you like. Um, there's also a written version and also kind of in slightly extended version of this talk at my um, GitHub profile because I had to cut out some things I wanted to talk about uh, because of time. So um, also feel free to uh, leave comments there. I also put some like references to um, other links, blog posts that uh, um, kind of cover this topic and that I've learned, uh, learned a lot about when I put this talk together. So yeah, thanks for listening.